What is up, you guys? Welcome back to Kardashians Weekly here on AfterBuzz TV. We are so excited to be back after taking a break last week. We are here, we're ready to go, so make sure you don't go too far. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, AfterBuzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. <laughs> What is up, you guys? Welcome back to Kardashians Weekly here on AfterBuzz TV. Guys, Yay. we are back, all four of us. We Ooh, took a little yay. break last week. We had a great Thanksgiving, right? Everyone had a great yes. one? Yes. Mm -hmm. And we are here. We're so excited. We're going to be covering two episodes tonight. We're briefly going to talk about a very Kardashian holiday. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be talking about uh, Season 14, Episode 9, Dog Tired, which aired Ooh. tonight. But first, of course, we always have tea time. But before we get into that, we're going to introduce ourselves and let us know, let you know where you can find us on social media. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, you guys? I'm Shanti. You can find me on Instagram at Shanti underscore Christina or Twitter at Shanti Christina. And I'm Ginwaz Anadine. Make sure you guys stop by and say hi on Instagram, which is at Ginwaz, G-U-I-N-W-A-Z. Hey everybody, it's Howard the Third. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Howard the Third. And of course, my website, Howard the Third.com. <laughs> <laughs> and what is up, you guys? It's Dakota T. Jones. And you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube at Mr. Dakota T. Jones. Woohoo! Awesome. Thank you. Let's talk about this. Let's do this. Let's get into some tea time. <laughs> it's always fun. We have some photos and we're so excited to talk about this. So let's talk about the first thing. Kim is starting this new thing called the 25 Days of Christmas mm -hmm. and it basically every single week she is day. every day she's every releasing day. a photo yeah. that's kind of like this Christmas shoot that she's done but it's also kind of like slowly leading up to revealing the big Christmas card because I think maybe it was last year they kind of took a break from the Christmas card did they like they, they hadn't done it in a while mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so they're back and um, I, I love I like the, that the photos that she's had so far it's been I think we're on day three now um, but the very first day was a cute photo of Rain, and he was like playing with some boxes, and he was like next to like this big Christmas tree. Oh but, no, it's or Saint. Not Rain, Saint. Um, but look how cute Saint Aww. is. Adorable. You know, it's it's crazy because I feel like we don't see a lot of Saint. We really don't. We don't. We don't. I really don't know what he looks like. I know. It's in this photo. It's kind of funny. It's like so zoomed back. It's like why is the Christmas Can tree way over there? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> crazy. Cute but though. He's so Aww. cute. And I'm sure that this is just like a random shot. Like I doubt that this is going to be the Christmas card. Obviously, there's just too much space involved. Um, but the next photo we have is of North looking up at, I'm assuming, Kim. And it looks like maybe either Kendall or Courtney is standing beside. Everyone loved this photo, though. And they were talking about how she looked like she had, like, mermaid hair. It was, like, just so long and beautiful. And North hmm. just looks adorable. North looks a lot like Kanye. You think? Mm -hmm. I think so. I think she's yeah. starting to look a lot like Kim. Really? Yeah. I think, I mean, she has, she's going to be really good looking, let me tell you. She is. I love yeah. mixed babies. I think they come out the They're best, so honestly. Cute. Yeah. She's adorable. And do you guys think that they're probably all wearing Good American in this shoot? No. Yes. I think For so. Chloe, absolutely. I don't yeah. think so. You don't think so? Why no. Not? I don't think they would wear Good American. They look like just regular jeans. I think they're Good American. You think so? I think so. I think, of course. Like, why Levi's. wouldn't they? Yeah. Um, uh. But let's talk about Kim's pants, though. I feel like she has a big stain on it. Like, she's always coming. Oh, why did they not Photoshop that? You were so right. <laughs> but she's always coming, like, you know, photo ready. She's so excited. Maybe it's, like, a part of the look, but, like, it looks like her Coffee dog. Stain. Or, or she, yeah. yeah, like, played in the mud and, like, sushi. Put little, sushi put, <laughs> sushi stain. <laughs> sushi stain. Which we'll talk about sushi a little bit later. But we love this photo. And I'm really excited to see the big reveal of mm -hmm. um, the Christmas card. The one that came out today, yeah. which I don't have. Um, was I think Rain? And yeah, he was like very cute, like looking. Aww. Yeah, and just their kids are adorable. It's insane. Yeah. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about though is Stephanie Shepard might have a potentially thrown a diss at Kim. Um, on her Instagram story, she posted this saying, "Self care isn't always lush bath bombs and twenty dollar face mask. Sometimes it's going to bed at eight p.m. or letting go of a bad friend." It's forgiving yourself for not meeting your impossible standards and understanding you are worth it. Self-care isn't always luxury, but a mean for survival. I actually, mm -hmm. whether she's dissing Kim or not, I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you send me that, Dakota? Yeah, I'll send it to oh you. I still got the I screenshot. Love that. I love that too, but um, what do you guys think? I mean, obviously, she, is allowed, she has like tons of other friends, I'm sure, so like... The fact that this may be about Kim is purely speculation. Why do you think it's about Kim? Um, a lot of people are saying 
because you were telling me that it was almost like she had possibly gotten fired rather than yeah. quit. So we thought that she got fired, or we thought that she quit, but it came out that she actually got fired. Wow. So this just seems like a total diss to Kim. It's really obvious to me. But, like, who else would this be about on the timing and everything? Like, even if you weren't talking about mm. Kim, why would you post this? Because everyone's going to think that you're talking about Kim. Yeah. Right? Mm. And then, but then after she posted this, she, like, posted a thing about KKW fragrance and, like, shout out to it kind of thing. Okay. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she realized I'm gonna get so much hate from the media. I can't handle it. I know it's like you can do something in there. So here's Kim's fragrance. (laughs) Yeah, right. Um, Speaking of Kim's fragrance, she actually did a cool thing where it was like free shipping for um, Black Friday and Cyber Monday, and so you were able to just get it. I don't think you you may have had to pay tax, maybe not, but you just basically paid the base price and got Mm -hmm. it mailed to you. So I was like, if you guys were gonna get it, that would have been the time. Oh crap. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get it. I actually stopped by Topshop to see Kylie Cosmetics. Everything yeah. was gone. Really? Stop. Wow. Really? Oh, my wow. gosh. Like, the, the everything was empty. I'm like, what is going on? And they have, it's like a small space in this in the store, but they have, like, security, like, around the area. And to get in, like, they have to open the thing for you so you can walk in to see the lipstick. Interesting. Wow. Yeah, it was kind of interesting. But there wasn't that much, honestly. Wait, is this at, in L.A.? In Vegas. You saw the one in Vegas. Yeah, I saw the one. Things. One of my friends went to one in LA, and like the, the video that you sent me, yeah, it was cool and all, but it was very bare, like you it said, was, and you yeah. could see things were missing, and 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 it just seemed like they didn't have hardly any product, and they were trying exactly. to like flex it out and like make it look like there was more, exactly. but there was just like not a lot, and w- it was really interesting because you think for something like that, if you know that you're going to be open for like a month, yeah, you would want to over supply and get everything mm-hmm. ready and to go, but um, the thing that I saw just from the snaps that you sent me. I was more excited to see like another kind of like maybe part of the store rented out to look like the Kylie mm-hmm. shop that was like the actual big pop-up shops mm-hmm. um, because I went to the one at the Topanga Mall when it was like the Kylie shop, like the big pop-up shop. And that one was just so awesome and like everything was neon lights and she had like I love a bed lights. and like coffee tables that were replicated after the ones in her room and you yeah. could like oh, take wow. a photo on the mm. bed and like there were See, that would have been nice. That wasn't there at all in Vegas. It looked like they just had her photo and then Kylie Cosmetics and then just regular white shelves that had everything on it. Yeah. Wow. Did you buy one? No. You didn't. <laughs> I want to buy not. one. But I wonder if I I've been meaning like it was on my to-do list to go to the Grove this week, but I just didn't. I know. There honestly have time. wasn't so many like options for me. So that's what why I didn't there? get anything. From, there was mostly lipstick, to be honest with you. That's what I want. They didn't have like the holiday wet set or anything they like that. They didn't have the naughty or nice eyeshadow palettes. No? Oh, wow. No. Those were gone. Yeah. Do they have any? I mean, I guess not because it's like a kind of They had eyeliner, I believe. I did not know she had an eyeliner. She does? Yeah. I had no idea. What, some, something with the. Yeah. I was like, I did not know she had that. Interesting. So do you think mm. that they're going to restock before the end of the month? They would probably have to. Like, they have, have to, right? They can't time. just have, like, a bear in there. They still have at least, what, like, 14 days, like, two weeks? Yeah. yeah around Maybe like I'll stop by again. We'll see. I don't know. I And, and also, um, we'll, we'll talk about this later. Never mind. Okay, so basically, so Scott Disick, right? He is apparently being offered up to $10 million. What? Ooh. To write a Kardashian tell-all book. Oh, oh my god. Apparently he's been thinking about it because obviously he's kind of bitter about everything. You know him, he's always bitter. Um, but he's <laughs> thinking about doing it. This could all be purely like rumor, but um, people are thinking like, oh cool, like it'll tell things like how many surgeries they might have gotten or like how much Chris really drinks or just like mm. the things that go on um, in Kim and Kanye's that's marriage. That's shady if he does, yeah. man. That's why I don't think he'll do it. Because that's the mother of his children at the end of the day, regardless. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I don't think he'd do it. I, I don't don't told you guys, I, I saw him at oh, yeah. the other day. I was like, oh, that's... You said you saw him on Rodeo Drive. I, saw I did. Him at Red- I did. On Rodeo Drive. And I kind of wanted to say hi, but I'm like, he probably deals with this all the time. So let me just walk yeah. past him. But I saw him. Was he mm. good looking? He is or? so good looking. <laughs> was he with a bunch of security? No. He, and that's what I was surprised. It was just him and a friend. Friend, See, I, walking wow. down and like nobody him. was approaching him or anything but he kind of when he was walking he gave that vibe of like somebody that you don't really want he wasn't welcoming with the way he was walking like he mm-hmm. he had this like I don't know resting bee face and he was just like you know I'm the <laughs> I'm the man basically Whoa. yeah Hmm. Nobody approached him. I thought it was interesting. Did you kind of like turn around and just kind of watch? I did. I was with my friend. I'm like, oh my God, that's him. And then they're like, you need to calm down. Like, <laughs> Maybe I do. What so store mind. were you in? Uh, Dior. 
I, I would have went up to him, and I know that he probably would have shot me down, but I would have went up to him anyway. Really? Yeah. I like, so Maybe like, I, I know should. know this is awkward, but we do the show called Kardashians Weekly. I know. We talk about you every the week. Opportunity. You know, <laughs> sometimes we don't have the best things to say <laughs> about, about you, <laughs> but we still love you. <laughs> um, but something else that I was really interested to see was Chrissy Teigen. She had her birthday party recently, mm. and it was a 60s theme. And everyone who showed up had to dress like this, and they went to like get their boarding passes at like the, the Pan Am, I saw Pan Am. Yeah, yeah, and then they yeah. were escorted onto like a fake plane. That and they was had, actually like, nice. Yeah. Aww. So like, was the whole party just like on a fake plane? Was that pretty much? I saw Kim taking a bunch of pictures on their um, on her Instagram story, but the only thing I could think about is how much did this birthday cost, man? I don't know. Mm-hmm. They even had like fake cigarettes that like instead of like. Breathing and then you like puffed it out and it like shot smoke. Yeah, that's so oh, creative. Cool. Yeah. I like that. Like and you, they, oh, sorry, go on. No, I was just like going to say they, they like had all these boarding passes and, and it just was very involved, which is really cool. Detailed. Yeah. Yeah, and they even had um, women dressed up as like Pan Am flight mm-hmm. attendants. Yeah. Oh. So it was, it was cute. I, I want to go to invited. one of these parties. Can we get an invite, please? Man. And the next photo is me actually there. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the next photo is of Kim and Kanye on like pretending to be on this plane. Oh. They had like fancy drinks and and it was just kind of cool. I mean, even look out the window. It looks I know, like they're, like they're in the air. Cool. Yep. It's that's cute. Crazy. So cute. I wonder how much that cost to exactly. put on. Exactly. If that's what she's doing for her birth. Oh my goodness. I just A really want to know, like, did because obviously. Everyone's sitting facing forward, so it's not like you can have like a big tables and socialize. So like, True. I think that was just one of the parts of it. I yeah, there was, like a, huge, there was a huge room, and then there was also the plain area. Yeah, and then maybe they had like their appetizers and like drinks there first, and then went into a, like a regular dinner party or what? I don't think it was dinner. I think it was just drinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think so? <laughs> I didn't yeah. see any food. Well, that's because I'm thinking they did all this, like, the fancy stuff first, and then maybe they're like, all that's right. That's what I think. Yeah. They wanted to put it on for the gram and Snapchat and all that good stuff. <laughs> um, but something that's kind of being rumored right now is that Scott Disick and Sophia Ritchie have officially split. Ooh. Oh. Um, and it's apparently, which is kind of ironic, because he's tired of her childish games. And I'm like, isn't that kind of what your thing, Scott? Ex- yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and, it, of course, he isn't over Courtney is what it said. So I can see that. Um, he also spent Thanksgiving with Mason instead of Sophia. And, like, I think he, like, jetted somewhere with Mason, like, spent time with his son, which I'm That's very nice. excited that he did yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, uh, they haven't been seen together in a long time, so everyone's saying that they officially split. What I was going to ask, when was the last time that they were seen together? I want to say, like, a month ago or a little less than a month ago. Hmm. Oh. I don't know. I haven't heard you anything. You seem excited. <laughs> Uh-oh. She's Shanti like, going to get her Scott some Scott. Yeah. <laughs> it's my time to shine. <laughs> <laughs> you step up to the plate, Shanti. This is your time. I got this, guy. Trapping with a baby. <laughs> Shanti's the next one to get pregnant. Oh, no, God. God, no. It's like Kylie, <laughs> Chloe, and Shanti. Shanti. Everything ends with the E. <laughs> Shanti and Scott take somewhere. Oh, oh my god. It has a little oh. bell to it. Ring, ring to it. Scott, take Miami. Okay, so I read something a few weeks ago that said that they were like happier than ever and that he she is really good for him and he hasn't been partying and mm. they make a great mm. couple. So I don't know. I feel like there's just so there's many so opposing many fake news out there yeah. as well. So yeah. you gotta yeah. know which media outlets you're getting your you know resources or information That's from. Very and we true. always talk about what's happening and what people are talking about right now, but we have no clue what really is true. But if you guys yeah. want like honest news, just tune in to our episode every Sunday. I mean, this is where you get the real <laughs> this deal. This is where you get the real deal. Like <laughs> yeah. they call us beforehand yep. and tell us things exactly. to confirm. So um, <laughs> this next thing, Chloe called and confirmed with me. Today. Oh, she did. Okay. Um, but uh, <laughs> Chloe recently, um, on December 1st, she came out with her Good American um, oh, pop-up shop at the Americana, which is really, really cool. And I haven't gotten the chance to go to it yet, but it looks very spacious, and it's like a big pop-up shop. And there's hoodies, there's jeans, there's mannequins. and um, Do we know how long it's going to be there? It's going to be there in... Oh, I, I thought it was going to be there for like a month or maybe a few oh, weeks. Oh, so I thought it was like a few days, but that's good. But At least a month. Apparently, there's not like a huge line outside. Like you can kind of just go in and shop, and like it's not as I guess crazy as Kylie's was, which we kind of mentioned I think a week or so ago when we were talking about the anticipation for this store rather than mm-hmm. the Kylie shop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but it seems like a really like cool 
down to earth, normal store I, from the things that I've seen. People were just in there browsing, having a good time, and it wasn't so stressful where you had like 15 minutes to get in, buy something, get out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of cool. It seemed kind of laid back. But one of the models, her name is, um, oh, I forget her name, but she's the one on the right. Uh, she's, oh, she goes by at Father Kells. Her name's Kelsey or something. And she's mm. like a big Instagram model. And so this was her first time being on like a big billboard. And so she kind of showed up to the shop and was taking photos with people. Um, oh, but cool. Chloe didn't show, which obviously she's pregnant, so I get it. But um, I think it'd be kind of cool if Chloe kind of showed up. Yeah. At least just to take a few I'm promo shots. I'm surprised that she, she hasn't. <laughs> I know, but maybe she's starting to show. Ooh. Yeah. So Kylie's going to have her baby before Chloe, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I think so, allegedly. Do we know how far in, in advance that she's going to... We don't, we don't like, know anything. We don't know anything. Um, mm -hmm. I, I know that people are saying, obviously, that they are waiting to announce on the show, and they were going to mm -hmm. wait for the finale, but the finale is not until, like, March, so yeah. they better figure something out quick, like, within the next few episodes. Because we haven't seen mm -hmm. Kylie yet or I don't, at all. I don't know. Are wait, they going to have a Christmas break? The finale like, is in March? Apparently, yeah. Well, usually That's they, do, they do that thing where they do, like, a mid-season finale, yeah. Um, oh, and yeah. then they do a couple, like, and then they come back mm -hmm. and finish it, so... so yeah. That's probably what's going to happen. I'm thinking there's going to be a mid-season finale by the end of this year. So in a couple yeah. weeks, hopefully. I think so. Yeah. To get ready for Chloe's show in January. Yeah. So yeah. They, I don't think they'll have both of them going at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, they might be. Oh, really? Keeping up and Chloe? January? Yeah, they pushed it back. It yeah. used to start uh, December 10th. Gonna, yeah. But they pushed it a month back. I don't know. I kind of like that they did that because if they are going to have to take like, because you know during Christmas time, some shows do take like an episode or two break. That's so true. to start up the show and get us all excited and then have to wait a couple weeks and then people, you know, after they've had their big Christmas meals and like they've finally <laughs> flown back to home or wherever they're going and they're like, oh wait, yeah, I forgot about this show. It's, it's on. So I think it's kind of smart how she did that. They just been playing that damn commercial a lot on the channel. Did you guys? Chloe's? Yeah. Like, yeah. I just your life has been in pause, and I just want to hit the play button. <laughs> like I don't know how many times I've heard that. Have you guys? Have you guys seen the the past season? Yeah. It's so good. Though. Most I, I saw like almost every episode. So good. I like the one where like the girl was bitchy and she didn't want to. She didn't want to eat right or work out, so then they dropped her. Yes. <laughs> that was a juicy one. That's yeah. going to be me, <laughs> Chloe. If you put me on, I can't do it. No, oh. I can't be a vegan. Uh-uh. I need to have a nice balance. It's not that you would be a vegan. I think you would actually do very well because I feel like you would listen to Chloe because you're like, yes, Mama Chloe. I do love Whatever Chloe. Whatever you want. But I like, girl, if you don't pass me this fried chicken right now, <laughs> I'm walking. <laughs> Can we not talk about food? Your girl's super hungry right now. I'm hungry, too. <laughs> Um, and then the lastly, we have that Kylie has recently trademarked the Kylie truck, or oh. she's put in a request to trademark. So, uh, What's yeah. that Kylie have truck? On her makeup? Yeah, so. Similar to Benefits. Benefits Cosmetics have that in like the airports. Oh. Really? Yeah. Cute. Instead of a food truck going around, a Kylie truck might be, be seen. And they might, from what I've heard, they might like announce, okay, like today and tomorrow only, it's gonna be at Santa Monica Pier. And like, oh, the next day it's gonna be, there's one That's in New York. Really the next smart. day, oh, you know what? There's gonna be one in Burbank. Like, they're just gonna like show up randomly at different places. That's pretty cool. And, yeah. Like, That's really pop up. That's so a really in good that idea. Photo. And maybe like instead of, like, obviously they could use this very well as like one of those things where, okay, well, we don't have like the resources or like the demographic to put in a whole Kylie shop in. Nebraska or Missouri, but maybe yeah. like one or two days that thing yeah. drives through world tour having a great time. You know, Kylie's That's cool. cool. Really yeah. is. Oh, so I'm I excited. That. I like that. I and like that um, you know, Kylie will be there waving you on, being like, hey guys, I'm in the truck driving, <laughs> come on over. Wait, so is, does it actually drive across country? We don't know much about it, but we're just oh, you're speculating. Just, you're just giving um, them great ideas right but, now. Yeah, but they she has put in to patent it, and she's patenting the Kylie or Kylie truck and then Kylie Jenner truck. Oh, okay. Nice. So she has options to use either one. I personally like Kylie truck better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kylie Jenner's too long. Yeah. But I, what do you guys think? That'd be cool, right? I think I that's would. a great, have great one idea. In every state. Mm -hmm. She is cute. rolling in the dough. Rolling. Okay. Rolling. On the bus with the truck. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> moving on. Let's briefly talk about a very Kardashian holiday. It was the episode that aired last week mm -hmm. that we missed. Um, a lot of funny kind of like drama that just kind of came in and then like, Obviously, Kim is so used to Chris always copying her. So then Chris pulls a fast one on, Kim pulls a fast one on Chris and basically pretends that she's gonna have like this ice rink. Mm -hmm. And then Chris goes all out, <laughs> invites like a famous skater to the party, 
But at the end of the day, Chris always is the one who has the best parties. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they did a little bake-off between Chloe and Chris. What did you guys think of that? I thought that was really cute. Um, I didn't mind that Chris made her famous lemon cake from a box. No. Like, this whole year, like, I guess, I guess since the kids have been growing up, or Kim and Kylie and everybody, Chris has been saying, oh, I'm making this famous lemon cake. But it's really been from a box. Like, yeah. anybody can make it. And she just adds two things in there, and she calls it hers. I didn't mind it, but apparently Chloe was traumatized by it. She was like, all my life. Yes. I thought it was yours. But I didn't think, I was like, I like that. Like, that's what I do. I don't really bake. I just that's smart. buy it and Who call it a day. Who has time to bake right now from scratch? Exactly. If you but do, she, then that's amazing. It but, is kind of yeah. messed up. She was passing it as her own, though. Yeah. Like, like all these that's years. That's something I would do. <laughs> <laughs> My friend once asked me to bake a cake for his birthday, and I was like, oh, absolutely. So I went to, like, Trader Joe's, and, like, I picked a cake that didn't look proper. Uh. And like I messed it up a little bit, so he believes I made it, uh, and then I gave it to him. And stop. up to this day, he still thinks I baked that cake. So we need to find. <laughs> what he's not, I hope he's not watching. Yeah, Sorry. Let's send him this clip real quick. Um, that is hilarious, right. though. Um, but I, I loved it because Chloe. I want to try that strawberry pie that she made because I've never heard of a strawberry yeah. pie. Yeah. I've heard strawberry of a strawberry cobbler. cobbler. Yeah. It was cobbler. It pretty good. But there was a. Right. Cobbler's pie, basically, oh, okay, right? Okay. Well, what's, the, what's the difference? Yeah, it was cobbler. Cobbler basically oh. is you put the fruit on the bottom and then you kind of drop biscuit kind of stuff on top and you bake it. Pie yeah. is where the crust is on the bottom and you put the filling. Oh. oh. See, Brianna knows because she's a chef. She is. She was cooking <laughs> up some good stuff today in the kitchen. I was mm-hmm. over here like smelling Smells around. Good. Yes. Oh, so good. Um, I was going to say, I'm just kind of over the staging stagingness of the episodes like and I just felt like the whole holiday episode was super staged and even this episode I felt like yeah, yeah there's everything's just, planned it's like yeah. we know that I mean I guess some people don't know but a lot of people know like you can't fool us <laughs> you can't fool us I love whenever Chris Kim, Jenner Kim was like playing with her hair while Chris and Jonathan were messing around like getting dressed to go like oh, meet yeah. normal people at Toys R Us and she's like guys I'm doing an interview right now like, yeah. It was so like staged. Um, Wait, did you notice how there's nobody in Toys R Us? So it was obviously yeah. shut down to film. Right. Well, exactly. on top of the fact that how are you going to fool that many people when there's cameras? I know you around? exactly. Yeah. Like you have a camera on you, so and that's like, obvious. He was like saying Loretta. He was calling her Loretta. <laughs> and like I would have, like as an employee, I'm sure that they were like, oh my gosh, like these people need to stop doing spray cans because they were like spraying a bunch of like yeah. silly string all over each other, making a mess. I, hope I really they tip the employees. I know. I really like that episode. I mean, like that fun. whole scene. I thought it was cute. I liked it. I thought it was. Fun. I like seeing Chris like funny. Did you watch it? <laughs> I'm learning. No, I thought it was cute. I just totally get what Shanti's saying. By it, it was completely staged. Like yeah. if they wanted yeah. to make it seem less staged, they should have like used the cameras at the store, just kind of catching them. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's true. just it's not entertaining to me, just because it's so staged. So mm-hmm. I don't think it's that mm-hmm. funny, but maybe that's just me. I still enjoyed it. I was I having a grand time sitting there eating my, eating my dinner <laughs> watching it. I was having a blast. Um, but let's get on to this episode tonight called Dog Tired. Um, so the main storyline here is that Kim and Courtney both got P and North dogs. Mm-hmm. Cute little dogs. I don't even know what kind of breed that is. Pomeranian. Oh, I want a Pomeranian. Um, so cute. Yeah, but Kim's cute. and North's is named Sushi and it barks a lot. Yeah. That was too much because I was like, oh, I hope that in the future episodes they put that dog in the garage or something because, man, yeah. it was like, bah, bah. yeah. Was like, oh. Well, it needs okay. to be trained. Yeah. It was kind of cool to see Caesar Milan coming in, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was like, that's cool. Just have him on speed dial like Caesar. Can you come over and train my dog? Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Why and I, and the way that? that he like talked to her a little bit, he's like, no, this is bad. No, don't do that, Kim. You're not doing this good. I was like, <gasps> he talked to Kim like that. I was like, oh, shoot. Most people would be afraid, but he's like, you're not doing this right. You're going to... No, well, he's got to tell her. Yeah, he's exactly. a professional. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. I know. I would have mm-hmm. just been like, you're doing great, Kim. Give the dog that slipper. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I would have been yeah. like... But what did you guys think? Did you think that it was hilarious when the, when she like switched the dogs with Courtney so that way she could have a, a quiet dog? Yeah, I thought it was pretty funny. I was like, I'd probably do something like that with my sister. I'm like, oh, okay, got to go. Let me just take my dog real quick. Because that dog, dog was annoying. Yeah. Cute. So annoying. annoying. And we only saw like two seconds of it. Can you imagine living oh, with oh it? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I really think the, the morning, dog was just there for filming, and then they gave it away. You think so? Like, no. <laughs> I 
I don't think so. I wouldn't be surprised. No, seriously. I don't think anybody has time to hear a dog bark all night long. Mm -mm. There's no way. Can't they just pay someone to train it? I think so. Caesar. That's what he came up with. But he was there for like two seconds. She's like, he's going to help us. And she, or she's like, he's going to help us. And he was like, yeah, I'll, I'll teach you a few basic things. Basically, like, I don't got time for this. For this, <laughs> I know, right? I was like, girl, you better have time for Kim Kardashian. <laughs> because, like, she she's not just going to be able to learn it all in, like, five minutes. She's going to have to have someone come over repeatedly. Mm-hmm. How do you guys feel about Kim's biker shorts look? <laughs> I hate it. What is that? It's part of the Yeezy season I six. It, so I actually ugly. liked it. But, like, if I, like... It, it's so hard to pull those off. Because they're ugly. I would not pull them. No, I would not pull them imagine? off at all. Yeah, no, I think it, but with her body, I thought it looked so good. I but know. But she, she kind of gave me surfer vibes for some reason. Are we talking about surfer the long vibes. pants or like the short I'm pants? talking about the short ones. Which ones are you guys talking yeah. about? Oh, yeah, the short the bike, ones. They look like biker shorts. I thought they were cool. She wears them out all over. Like, I think they're cute, like under shorts. Like I would put what? sweats like over it if I want to do a baggy look. I think it's cute to wear at home. Yeah, oh, definitely at home. Well, yes. she, she still looks <laughs> great, is my point, which is crazy. She wears them out. Anyone that she can wears wear. Them out a lot yeah. These days. Yeah. yeah. Different colors, nude colored, like yep. green color. I'm like, and girl, been... if you don't let these biker shorts go, <laughs> Lord. Yeah. I just would look so ridiculous in those, but somehow she, she pulls it off. Pulls, she can pull it off. She doesn't, she doesn't pull it off. What, what, like, what did you guys think, though, when, when Rain was the one who figured out that that wasn't their dog? Do you think that a producer told him to say, hey, like, say that's not your dog? Or do you think Rain really was like, yo, this is not our dog? I think the producers told him. So? Really? I hope we're not, like, <laughs> really I don't really believe Rain. anything. Like- <laughs> Rain is a, I, an actor now? I feel like he knew. He probably, probably knew, gave him like, candy Marty. or something. And because yeah. he had, like, a line, they probably upped his pay a little bit. Exactly. <laughs> you guys, every time I see Rain, I think it's a girl. And I'm like, oh, she's so cute. I forget that it's a boy. It kind of looks like a girl. Right? Yeah. yeah. Am I the only it's one? It's the long hair, it's yeah. It's the hair. They did the same thing with Mason, though, where his hair was yeah, extra Yeah, I'm confused long. about Mason, Now it looks too. like Mason cuts his own hair. Yeah. Oh. But Rain looks shade? like <laughs> Rain looks like a mixture of Penelope and Mason. So like has that kind of Wait, was that shade though? <laughs> I mean, have you seen it? It looks like he does this and goes <laughs> Have you not seen? No. His hair? We'll pull up a photo next Ooh, time. Shady boots, all right. <laughs> Shady boots. <laughs> um, Shady. And then another popular storyline of this episode is that Kendall obviously was robbed after Kim was robbed and she's very scared for her safety. She has New stalkers showing up every couple of days, which is awful. And like, I don't think I could sleep. Um, but her and Kim, uh, Chloe decide that they want to go shoot guns at a shooting range, and they want to learn how to do this. And they want to—I don't know. What did you guys think? Because I was kind of surprised after the whole gun anti-gun yeah. episode they did a while mm. back. So I actually wanted to talk about this because I think it's interesting. I'm pretty against guns, especially with everything that the same happens way. in our society. Yeah. And I don't like the idea of having a gun in your house. Mm-hmm. But then, on one hand, if I really think about it, if I was a huge celebrity like the Kardashians, or mm-hmm. if I was like Kendall Jenner living by myself and having stalker after stalker show up at my place and like have my place being robbed all the time, like I don't know. I might consider having that in my house to protect me. Or but, get more mm-hmm. security. I know, like I, everything in me is against guns, but I think there's like a small one percent chance that if I were that rich mm-hmm. and famous, and stuff was happening as often as it has been mm-hmm. happening to her, I don't know. I would, I would maybe think about that. Mm-hmm. What do you guys? What would you guys do? So with with the whole gun situation, I feel the same way as you. I am not for guns at all. Like mm-hmm. we don't have a gun in our house. I, I'd like to keep it that way, uh, but. I felt like this whole scene was done on purpose just so they can get to the final message, whatever Chloe was saying at the end, where I think it's it was so staged. Like, you didn't yeah. know the statistics behind it. You didn't know how dangerous, dangerous it is. And all of a sudden, somebody came and woke you up to the fact that guns can be dangerous, so now you don't want to do it. Then what's the point of you going to the shooting range? Like, I felt like somebody paid her, like she was endorsed <laughs> by some politician or something <laughs> to, stay, to say that, so... It was pretty lame to me, honestly. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. No offense. I know Dakota, you take these things to heart. Sorry, I'm not a Kardashian <laughs> fan. No, but, I get it, yeah. though. Because I was like, oh, okay, well, they're obviously steering away from the every town thing, and they want to get a gun for themselves. Obviously, mm-hmm. they know that it's very dangerous, but they're thinking, okay, well, I need one because of my safety. Yeah. So I was thinking, okay, I understand why they're doing this. I'm like, that's a little bold for them to do ever since they 
They, yeah. you know, stood by ev- uh, every town. But then once they said, well, we talked to every town and they convinced us not to because they said that they're not that anti-gun, but mm-hmm. then there's all these things that have, they gave the statistics and it's like, wow, those are scary statistics. Like that, that is sad. And, and like the suicide rate between like kids who have access to guns. So yeah. that was all very eye-opening. But I feel but, for them to put that on the actual episode, like they got endorsed somehow oh, yeah. to state those facts. You know what I mean? Like yeah. mm-hmm. extra form of sponsorship for them. I don't know. I, I, mm-hmm. I didn't like that. I don't like when things like that happen. It's like they're trying to shove information like, mm-hmm. you know, to the audience. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I have to agree with Shanti over here. I feel the same way about guns. Like, yeah. just don't like them. But if I am, you know, Kendall Jenner and I'm seeing a stalker almost every other night, maybe I should think about at least getting a taser or something. Pepper spray. That Pepper. works. Uh, but if no. the man comes through the front door, I'm not going to spray you because you're not going to reach it. Like, maybe I should get and the a, gun. And a taser, too. I mean, like, if you have one of those handheld things, you're oh, going to yeah. have to go up to them, you know? That's true. I'm sorry. Or a taser gun oh, I don't where know it shoots anything about out. Tasers. You'd have to, well, you'd, yeah, you could get the one that shoots yeah. out, but. I think I would get so a gun. Wow. You know a lot, Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> Which I kind mean, of taser should we buy? This yeah. is all things like in Missouri, it's very, you know, in Missouri is like for where I'm from is very like pro gun, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, are you pro gun? I mean, personally, I wouldn't have guns. You know, growing up, all of my family and extended family, they all had guns in their house. And my, my uncle is like somewhat of a semi famous hunter and stuff like that, like endorsed by Bass Pro and like places like that. So, like, I've grown up around that. Personally, for me, though, it's not my thing, and it's not something I would want to keep in my house. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so Especially with children. It's not my thing, but I don't judge yeah. my family for having it because, you know, I don't, I just, I don't know. It's like all of them are very responsible. They've gone through, like, the classes, and they've, they've done it to, like, protect themselves if anyone. Because, like, we live kind of, like, in a secluded area where we have, like, five acres of land to ourselves. Mm-hmm. So it's not mm-hmm. like we're, you know, in the city, like, around a bunch of people. Like, someone would literally have to, like, come into the woods to like you know get us so it's like in that case like i understand why they would want to personally for me it's not my thing and that's not something that i endorse or stand by but i wouldn't mind doing the classes though i would like to be prepared if a gun were to come my way Mm -hmm. that i would know how to load it and you know take it off and things like that i wouldn't have in my house but i definitely like to be prepared Mm -hmm. yeah Definitely good for sure. it, yeah. it was kind of interesting to see how they were asking Kim, okay, what would have happened if those men would have accidentally dropped the gun? Would you have been able to grab it? Mm-hmm. I'm like, those are intense questions to be asking Kim because you know that terrified her and she doesn't want to talk true. about it. But whenever they were asking that, I was like interested. I was like, yeah, Kim, like, what would you do? Would you grab the gun or would mm-hmm. you just let it sit there and be like, oh, you dropped your gun? You know, <laughs> Absolutely, grab it. Grab I think it. anybody would grab but it. But then if she tries to grab it, I could see one of them. Oh, maybe. Yeah, and she also said there was a bunch of men. She's Well, first she said three against one, and then she said six. I don't know how many men were actually there when she was robbed, but it's like when you have that many people ganging up on you, that's... You shouldn't be going out alone at all. Mm-hmm. But I'm, I'm like, I'm talking about, like, in the specific Paris robbery, like, if someone dropped a gun, yeah. like, there's right. six dudes around you, like... It's probably best to just do what they say. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's like, it's, if it was one person, you could grab it, you know. But, like, if it's a bunch of people, by the time you're trying to grab it, they could be like, oh, no, she's going to shoot. shoot. And then, so, yeah. So, but guns, it is a very sensitive topic, and it's it's one of those things where even just thinking about them, like, I don't like the thought mm-hmm. of them, like, and, like, they're loud, they're scary, they, they're deadly. I don't like the thought yeah. of them. And it, it, even talking about it just kind of gives me a little bit of, like, anxiety. Chills, yeah. 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 It's such a sad thing. It's There's icky. so many bad things happening in the world yeah. right now. Yeah. I don't like it either. Mm-hmm. Um, on a lighter topic, though, to end us off here, MJ – uh, finally moved from San Diego to mm-hmm. LA, which is super cool. Chris bought her her own house, Aww. and uh, Chris is a little bit territorial though with when it comes to putting things in certain places. She doesn't like a lot of MJ's <laughs> clutter. Did you think Chris was being way too overbearing in the situation, or do you think she has a say because she bought the house? Mm-hmm. I think she's being totally overbearing. Yeah, like, definitely. Give your mom a break. I mean, I do want to be on that list of um, Chris's housegiving receiving (laughs) because uh cc got a house and now um mj gets a house and next week i want to get a house (laughs) (laughs) yes for you and scott and you guys yeah (laughs) but yeah it's like leave the woman alone let her decorate it how she wants to who cares that she doesn't want to put the blender out mix master mix master i love how she put it in the bathroom (laughs) but then i'm like is that staged i don't know no No. i don't think so i think that was pure mj 
But no. she's always got a new hair each time. Like, I love it. She's so fashionable. She has, like, the red she's lip. So cute. She's got yeah. a turtleneck okay. situation. Her hair will be down one time, then it'll be short like Chris's, and then it'll be, like, she just, like, she's, she's so cute. glam queen. She's styling it everywhere. I like the way she did her her whole kitchen. I think it was very, like, grandma-ish. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? Like, it. it's cute. It's like, oh, okay, going to grandma's house. I know she's going to have all these different patterns. <laughs> I know she's going to have all this different stuff. I love that pattern life. Like, I love it. It's like, if I go into a grandma's house, and it's looking like Chris Jenner's house, I'm like, okay, something's wrong. Mm-hmm. I like it when Grandma has those knickknacks and those goofy little exactly things and like the bowls that don't match, but they look like they've got pears and little cherubs that are you know naked and. You'll definitely won't like arrows. coming to my house then when I'm a grandma. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be like a Chris Jenner. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. so Chris Jenner's so good at decorating she, though. She like is. she has she is. a serious knack for designing, and she's pretty good at it. Mm-hmm. I I don't know I. Maybe if I'm rich, I'll enlist her to decorate my house. That'd be pretty cool. Because she's good at it, right? She is. Yeah, she's so good And at she it. does all of her daughter's houses. And she did Rob's, right? Mm-hmm. I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think so. I don't think Kim let her really touch her house, though. Yeah, mm-hmm. Kim does not seem like she likes to be told what to do. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't like Kim's house. The, <laughs> um, the vibe. Like, I don't like how it's decorated. It seems like... Big and industrial. Like, mm. did you like? Did you see the kitchen on tonight's episode? It was, where very it was empty. a really, really big, long island, but the the island was like, like metal, not metal, but that color and long and I just think that's Kanye's. Style it's very as well. Kanye. Probably. It's very yeah. Kanye. But I just don't like that. And and their their furniture, like, it just never looks comfortable. It looks like a yeah. museum. It doesn't yeah. look like a yeah. home. That's true. Me. That's true. Whereas remember Kim Kardashian's like first home. Super rich. Long time ago home. when um, Chris Humphreys prepared uh, proposed to her in that house. It was oh. so cute and how she had to decorate it. I don't know if you guys remember that. Yeah. I do. But it was mm-hmm. adorable and very. I don't know. I like that style way better than Kanye style. Yeah, and it looks empty to me. Yeah. Like, the house doesn't look like it has that much stuff. Like, they try to do too many statement pieces. Yeah. And like you said, the the furniture doesn't look comfortable. And Mm-mm. I don't know. Like, it's so minimal that it's not... Like a house. Like, like, like It's not homey at all. Yeah. Every time I've been to a furniture store and I recognize a piece of furniture from their house, like, that's being sold, I always sit in it to see if it's comfy. Nine times out of ten, it's not. It's not. <laughs> but I'm like, I could get used to this, though. I'm like, I can, mm-hmm. I can brave through the uncomfortableness because it, I look so cool in it. You know what I'm saying? I love it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, but we, that pretty much wraps us up. We went through all of that tea time and two episodes. I'm proud of us. Look at us go. Um, <laughs> but we had so much fun. Thank you guys for joining us. Let us know in the comments below what you want to see more of and your new segments. Um, but actually, before we go, I forgot. <laughs> before we go, we have a Kardashian Beauty Breakdown. Surprise! 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 Um, but Shanti sent in like a clip of her doing the lip kit that she just got. And what was the name of the lip kit? Uh, Dolce K, which I'm wearing right now. Oh, Ooh, you're oh. rocking it, girl. I like it. I need a, tutor- a tutorial. You guys, this is in my room. This is no Ginwa tutorial. Please don't <laughs> judge me for it, OK? Oh, no, I did what I could. <laughs> All right, you guys, I know I am so late to the game, but I finally got my first Kylie lip kit. Um, I got it in Dolce K. I don't even think it's one of the new colors, but I finally got to try it out. Overall, I I love it. I love how it goes on. Um, It's super matte and long lasting. Um, I wore it to work on Tuesday, I want to say, and I put it on at 6.30 a.m. and I didn't take it off until 7.45 7.45 p.m. at night. I had worked all day. Then I went to the gym for an hour and it was still on my lips at the end of the day. Now what I like about this uh, lipstick in particular is it doesn't dry out your lips. It keeps them moisturized throughout the day, um, which is pretty rare for a long-lasting matte lipstick. I'm definitely into it. Uh, I really want to go buy more colors at her pop-up shop that's coming to LA and I definitely recommend it. Check out my tutorial on how I put it on. It's pretty simple, but if you guys want to know my tricks, watch. So anytime I apply lipstick, I usually put a light layer of foundation on my lips beforehand. And this just makes the lipstick pop more, the colors better. Um, I always feel like it looks better when I do that beforehand. So I'm going to take the Kylie Lip Kit uh, Lip Liner in Dolce K and I'm going to apply it all around my lips. And my trick with lip liner is if you want to outline your lips a little bit, um, on the lower lip near the middle, you can kind of bring a little bit lower than your natural lip line. Um, And then 
Same with the top, just a little bit above the natural lip line. You don't want to look crazy. Uh, you don't want you, you don't want to look too fake, but to achieve just a little bit bigger, you can do that. All right, so final step, take the actual lipstick and apply it all over your lips. Um, I like to do a nice, generous amount because you are wanting to stay all day long. Um, when I wore it the other day, I did not reapply one time. It was great that it lasted that long. So try to do a good amount so it lasts. And voila, you guys are ready to go. Um, I really like this color on brunettes. And I think it really makes your hair pop. And I also like it on blondes too. So I definitely recommend this color. Uh, Dolce K. Bye. That was so cute, Sean. You guys, that was my first tutorial. I'm so embarrassed. No, I love it. I well, love it. Because, you know, hers was very, very professional. <laughs> and mine's like in my room. No, but really I cute. tried. I tried. I liked it a lot. Yeah, you did a great job. I, and, I lo and I love, it looks so good on you. Yeah. yeah. It's a little dark. Like, I feel like it would look better on your really? skin your skin tone with your dark hair. It's a little too dark for me, but. It Maybe goes I'll really great it. with, like, the, the fall. Mm -hmm. really the fall yeah. weather look. I love it. I Thanks, love it. And guys. you have such Yay. great natural lighting in your room. I'm so jealous. I know. My room looks like has a lighting of like a potato. Like <laughs> <laughs> that potato lighting, yeah. though. <laughs> um, but that was amazing. And oh, okay. um, for all of the future makeup tutorials that you're going to do, where can everyone find your social media? Oh, you can find me on YouTube <laughs> at Shanti Christina. Twitter, Shanti Christina. Instagram, Shanti underscore Christina. I don't know how I'm going to beat that with excitement <laughs> right now. <laughs> you guys can find all my social media links, plus other cool stuff that I've been doing on my website, www.ginwazi.com. You can find me on Twitter, at third, and of course my um, website, howatthethird.com. All right, you guys can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, at Mr. Dakota T. Jones, and my show, Millennial Hollywood. Instead of it being like a long-form show, I've been doing like a three-minute segment called The oh. Top 5 Millennial Moments of the Week. Ooh. And I talk about the Kardashians sometime like and other celebrities, so make sure to check that out. Um, but thank you guys so much for joining us. We love you, and we will keep up with you later. Bye! Bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal. And that's not something that I endorse or stand mm -hmm. by, but... I wouldn't mind doing the classes, though. I would like to be prepared if a gun were to come my way, mm -hmm. that I would know how to load it True. and, you know, take it off and things like that. I wouldn't have it in my house, but I'd definitely like to be prepared. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good way sure. to put it. Yeah. It was kind of interesting to see how they were asking Kim, okay, what would have happened if those men would have accidentally dropped the gun? Would you have been able to grab it? Mm -hmm. I'm like, those are intense questions to be asking Kim because you know that terrified her and she doesn't want to talk true. about it. But whenever they were asking that, I was like interested. I was like, yeah, Kim, like, what would you do? Would you grab the gun or would mm -hmm. you just let it sit there and be like, oh, you dropped your gun? You know? <laughs> Absolutely, grab it. Grab I think it. anybody would grab but it. But then if she tries to grab it, I could see one of them. Oh, maybe. Yeah, and she also said there was a bunch of men. She, well, first she said three against one, and then she said six. So I don't know how many men were actually there when she was robbed, but it's like when you have that many people ganging up on you, that's... You shouldn't be going out alone at all. But I'm like, I'm talking about like in the specific Paris robbery, like if someone dropped a gun, yeah. like there's right. six dudes around you, like it's probably best to just do what they say. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's like, it's, if it was one person, you could grab it, you know, but like if it's a bunch of people, by the time you're trying to grab it, they could be like, oh no, she's going to shoot. shoot and then, so, yeah. so, but guns, it is a very sensitive topic and it's, it's one of those things where even just thinking about them, like I don't like the thought mm -hmm. of them like and like they're loud they're scary they they're deadly i don't like the thought yeah. of them and it, it, even talking about it just kind of gives me a little bit of like anxiety Chills, yeah. yeah yeah it's such a sad thing it's there's icky. so many bad things happening in the world yeah. right now yeah i don't like it either mm -hmm. um on a lighter topic though to end us off here mj uh finally moved from san diego to mm -hmm. la which is super cool 
Chris bought her her own house. Aww. And uh, Chris is a little bit territorial, though, with when it comes to putting things in certain places. She doesn't like a lot of MJ's <laughs> clutter. Did you think Chris was being way too overbearing in the situation? Or do you think she has a say because she bought the house? Um, I think she's being totally overbearing. Yeah, like, definitely. Give your mom a break. I mean, I do want to be on that list of um, Chris's housegiving receiving (laughs) because uh cc got a house and now um mj gets a house and next week i want to get a house (laughs) (laughs) yes for you and scott and your guys yeah (laughs) but yeah it's like leave the woman alone let her decorate it how she wants to who cares that she doesn't want to put the blender out mix master mix master i love how she put it in the bathroom (laughs) then i'm like is that staged i don't know No, no i don't think so i think that was pure mj but no. she's always got a new hair each time. Like, I love it. She's so fashionable. She has, like, the red she's lip. So cute. She's got the yeah. turtleneck okay. situation. Her hair will be down one time, then it'll be short like Chris's, and then it'll be, like, she just, like, she's, she's so cute. a glam queen. She's styling it everywhere. I like the way she did her her whole kitchen. I think it was very, like, grandma-ish. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? It. Like, it's cute. It's like, oh, okay, going to grandma's house. I know she's going to have all these different patterns. I know she's going to have all this. Episode, like, they got endorsed somehow oh, yeah. to state those facts. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. mm-hmm. Extra form of sponsorship for them. I don't know. I, I, I didn't like that. I don't like when things like that happen. It's like they're trying to shove information, like, you know, mm-hmm. to the audience. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I have to agree with Shanti over here. I feel the same way about guns. Like, yeah. just don't like them. But if I am, you know, Kendall Jenner and I'm seeing a stalker almost every other night, maybe I should think about at least getting a taser or something. Pepper spray. That Pepper. works. Uh, but if no. the man comes through the front door, I'm not going to spray you because you're not going to reach it. Like, maybe I should get and the gun. A, and a taser, too. I mean, like, if you have one of those handheld things, you're oh, going to yeah. have to go up to them, you know? That's true. I'm sorry. <laughs> or a taser gun well, I don't where know it shoots anything about out. tasers. You'd have to, well, you'd, yeah, you could get the one that shoots yeah. out, but... I think I would get so a gun. Wow. You know a lot, Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> Which I kind mean, of taser should we buy? This yeah. is all things like in Missouri. It's very, you know, in Missouri is like for where I'm from is very like pro gun, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, are you pro gun? I mean, personally, I wouldn't have guns. You know, growing up, all of my family and extended family, they all had guns in their house. And my, my uncle is like somewhat of a semi famous hunter and stuff like that, like endorsed by Bass Pro and like places like that. So, like, I've grown up around that. Personally, for me, though, it's not my thing, and it's not something I would want to keep in my house. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so Especially with children. It's not my thing, but I don't judge yeah. my family for having it because, you know, I don't, I just, I don't know. It's like all of them are very responsible. They've gone through, like, the classes, and they've, they've done it to, like, protect themselves if anyone. Because, like, we live kind of, like, in a secluded area where we have, like, five acres of land to ourselves. Mm-hmm. So it's not mm-hmm. like we're, you know, in the city, like, around a bunch of people. Like, someone would literally have to, like, come into the woods to like you know get us so it's like in that case like i understand why they would want to personally for me it's not my thing and that's not something that i endorse or stand Mm -hmm. by but i wouldn't mind doing the classes though i would like to be prepared if a gun were to come my way Mm -hmm. that i would know how to load it and you know take it off and things like that i wouldn't have in my house but i definitely like to be prepared Mm -hmm. yeah Mm -hmm. Definitely good for sure. it, yeah. it was kind of interesting to see how they were asking Kim, okay, what would have happened if those men would have accidentally dropped the gun? Would you have been able to grab it? Mm-hmm. I'm like, those are intense questions to be asking Kim because you know that terrified her and she doesn't want to talk true. about it. But whenever they were asking that, I was like interested. I was like, yeah, Kim, like, what would you do? Would you grab the gun or would mm-hmm. you just let it sit there and be like, oh, you dropped your gun? You know? <laughs> Absolutely, grab it. Grab I think it. anybody would grab but it. But then if she tries to grab it, I could see one of them. Oh, maybe. Yeah, and she also said there was a bunch of men. She well, first she said three against one, and then she said six. So I don't know how many men were actually there when she was robbed, but it's like when you have that many people ganging up on you, that's you shouldn't be going out alone, at all. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I'm like, I'm talking about like in the specific Paris robbery. Like, if someone dropped a gun, yeah. like if there's right. six dudes around you, like. It's probably best to just do what they say. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's like, if it was one person, you could grab it, you know. But, like, if it's a bunch of people. That would be (laughs) Ann Mason. So, like, has that kind of. Wait, was that Shane, though? (laughs) I mean, have you seen it? It looks like he does this and goes. (laughs) Have you not seen? No. His hair? We'll pull up a photo next Ooh, time. Shady boots, all right. <laughs> shady boots. <laughs> um, shady. And then another popular storyline of this episode is that Kendall obviously was robbed after Kim was robbed, and she's very scared for her safety. She has new stalkers showing up every couple of days, which is awful, and like I don't think I could sleep. Um, but her and Kim, uh, Chloe decide that they want to go shoot guns at a shooting range, and they want to learn how to do this, and they want to... I don't know. What did you guys think? Because I was kind of surprised after the whole gun, anti-gun... 
yeah. episode we did a while mm. back. So I actually wanted to talk about this because I think it's interesting. I'm pretty against guns, especially with everything that the same happens way. in our society. Yeah. And I don't like the idea of having a gun in your house. Mm-hmm. But then, on one hand, if I really think about it, if I was a huge celebrity like the Kardashians, or mm-hmm. if I was like Kendall Jenner living by myself and having stalker after stalker show up at my place and like have my place being robbed all the time, like I don't know, I might consider having that in my house to protect me. Or but get mm-hmm. more security. I know, like I, everything in me is against guns, but I think there's like a small one percent chance that if I were that rich mm-hmm. and famous and stuff was happening as often as it has been mm-hmm. happening to her, I don't know. I would, I would maybe think about that. Mm-hmm. What do you guys? What would you guys do? So with with the whole gun situation, I feel the same way as you. I am not for guns at all. Like mm-hmm. we don't have a gun in our house. I, I'd like to keep it that way, uh, but. I felt like this whole scene was done on purpose just so they can get to the final message, whatever Chloe was saying at the end, where I think it's it was so staged. Like, you didn't yeah. know the statistics behind it. You didn't know how dangerous, dangerous it is. And all of a sudden, somebody came and woke you up to the fact that guns can be dangerous, so now you don't want to do it. Then what's the point of you going to the shooting range? Like, I felt like somebody paid her, like she was endorsed <laughs> by some politician or something <laughs> to, stay, to say that, so... It was pretty lame to me, honestly. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. No offense. I know Dakota, you take these things to heart. I'm <laughs> not a Kardashian no. fan. No, but, I get it, yeah. though. Because I was like, oh, okay, well, they're obviously steering away from the Everytown thing, and they want to get a gun for themselves. Obviously, mm-hmm. they know that it's very dangerous, but they're thinking, okay, well, I need one because of my safety. Yeah. So I was thinking, okay, I understand why they're doing this. I'm like, that's a little bold for them to do ever since they, they yeah. you know, stood by uh, Everytown. But then once they said, well, we talked to every town and they convinced us not to because they said that they're not that anti-gun, but mm-hmm. then there's all these things that have, they gave the statistics and it's like, wow, those are scary statistics. Like that, that is sad. And, and like the suicide rate between like kids who have access to guns. So yeah. that was all very eye-opening. But I feel but for them to put that on the actual episode, like they got endorsed somehow. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I didn't like that. I don't like when things like that happen. It's like they're trying to shove information like, you know, to the audience. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I have to agree with Shanti over here. I feel the same way about guns. Like, yeah. just don't like them. But if I am, you know, Kendall Jenner and I'm seeing a stalker almost every other night, maybe I should think about at least getting a taser or something. Pepper spray. That Pepper. works. Uh, but if no. the man comes through the front door, I'm not going to spray you because you're not going to reach it. Like, maybe I should get and the a, gun. And a taser, too. I mean, like, if you have one of those handheld things, you're oh, going to yeah. have to go up to them, you know? That's true. I'm sorry. <laughs> or a taser gun well, where it shoots out. I don't know anything about out. tasers. You'd have to, well, you'd, yeah, you could get the one that shoots yeah. out, but... I think I would get so a gun. Wow. You know a lot, Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> Which I kind mean, of taser should we buy? This yeah. is all things like in Missouri. It's very, you know, in Missouri is like for where I'm from is very like pro gun, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, are you pro gun? I mean, personally, I wouldn't have guns. You know, growing up, all of my family and extended family, they all had guns in their house. And my, my uncle is like somewhat of a semi famous hunter and stuff like that, like endorsed by Bass Pro and like places like that. So, like, I've grown up around that. Personally, for me, though, it's not my thing, and it's not something I would want to keep in my house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Especially with children. It's not my thing, but I don't judge my family for having it because, you know, I don't, I just, I don't know. It's like all of them are very responsible. They've gone through, like, the classes, and they've they've done it to, like, protect themselves if anyone, because, like, we live kind of, like, in a secluded area where we have, like, five acres of land to ourselves. Mm -hmm. So it's not Mm -hmm. like we're, you know, in the city, like, around a bunch of people. Like, someone would literally have to, like, come into the woods to like you know yeah. get us so it's like in that case like I understand why they would want to personally for me it's not my thing and that's not something that I endorse or stand by but I wouldn't mind doing the classes though I would like to be prepared if a gun were to come my way mm-hmm. that I would know how to load it True. and you know take it off and things like that I wouldn't have it in my house but I'd definitely like to be prepared mm-hmm. yeah that's good for way sure. to put it, yeah. it was kind of interesting to see how they were asking Kim, okay, what would have happened if those men would have accidentally dropped the gun? Would you have been able to grab it? Mm-hmm. I'm like, those are intense questions to be asking Kim because you know that terrified her and she doesn't want to talk true. about it. But whenever they were asking that, I was like interested. I was like, yeah, Kim, like, what would you do? Would you grab the gun or would mm-hmm. you just let it sit there and be like, oh, you dropped your gun? You know? <laughs> Absolutely, grab it. Grab I think it. anybody would grab but it. But then if she tries to grab it, I could see one of them. Oh, maybe. Yeah, and she also said there was a bunch of men. She well, first she said three against one, and then she said six. So I don't know how many men were actually there when she was robbed, but it's like when you have that many people ganging up on you, that's you shouldn't be going out alone, at all. 
Mm-hmm. But and I'm like, I'm talking about like in the specific Paris robbery. Like, if someone dropped a gun, yeah. like there's right. six dudes around you, like it's probably best to just do what they say. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Because it's like it's, if it was one person, you could grab it, you know. But like, if it's a bunch of people, by the time you're trying to grab it, they could be like, "Oh no, she's gonna shoot." shoot and then, so, yeah. So, but guns, it is a very sensitive topic, and it's it's one because you know during Christmas time, some shows do take like an episode or two break. That's so true. to start up the show and get us all excited, and then have to wait a couple weeks, and then people, you know, after they've had their big Christmas meals and like they've finally <laughs> flown back to home or wherever they're going, and they're like, "Oh wait, yeah, I forgot about this show. It's it's on." So I think it's kind of smart how she did that. They just been playing that damn commercial a lot on the channel. Did you guys? Chloe's? Yeah. Like, yeah. I just your life has been in pause, and I just want to hit the play button. <laughs> like I don't know how many times I've heard that. Have you guys? Have you guys seen the the past season? Yeah. It's so good. Though. Most I, I saw like almost every episode. So good. I like the one where like the girl was bitchy and she didn't want to. She didn't want to eat right or work out, so then they dropped her. Yes. <laughs> that was a juicy one. That's yeah. going to be me, Chloe, <laughs> if you put me on. I can't do it. No, oh. I can't be a vegan. Uh-uh. I need to have a nice balance. It's not that you would be a vegan. I think you would actually do very well because I feel like you would listen to Chloe because you're like, yes, Mama Chloe. I do love Whatever Chloe. Whatever you want. But I feel like, girl, if you don't pass me this fried chicken right now, <laughs> I'm walking. <laughs> Can we not talk about food? Your girl's super hungry right now. I'm hungry, too. <laughs> Um, and then the lastly, we have that Kylie has recently trademarked the Kylie truck, or oh. she's put in a request to trademark. So, uh, what yeah. does that Kylie truck? Have on her makeup? Yeah, so. Similar to Benefits. Benefits Cosmetics have that in like the airports. Oh. Really? Yeah. Cute. Instead of a food truck going around, a Kylie truck might be, be seen. And they might, from what I've heard, they might like announce, okay, like today and tomorrow only, it's going to be at Santa Monica Pier. And like, oh, the next day it's going to be, there's one in New York. The next day, oh, you know what? There's going to be one in Burbank. Like, they're just going to like show up randomly at different places. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's really pop up. That's a really good idea. And maybe like instead of, like, obviously they could use this very well as like one of those things where, okay, well, we don't have like the resources or like the demographic to put in a whole Kylie shop in. Nebraska or Missouri, but maybe yeah. like one or two days that thing yeah. drives through world tour, having a great time. You know, Kylie's That's cool. cool. Really yeah. is. Oh, so I'm I excited. That. I like that. I and like that um, you know, Kylie will be there waving you on, being like, "Hey guys, I'm in the truck driving. <laughs> Come on over." Wait, so it, does it actually drive across country? We don't know much about it, but we're just oh, speculating. You're just, just, you're just giving um, them great ideas right but, now. Yeah, but they she has put in to patent it, and she's patenting the Kylie or Kylie truck, and then Kylie Jenner truck. Oh, okay. Nice. So she has options to use either one. I personally like Kylie truck better. Yeah, mm-hmm. Kylie Jenner's too long. Yeah. But I, what do you guys think? That'd be cool, right? I think I that's a great, to have great one in idea. Every state. Mm-hmm. She is cute. rolling in the dough. Rolling. Okay. Rolling. On the bus with the truck. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> moving on. Let's briefly talk about a very Kardashian holiday. It was the episode that aired last week mm-hmm. that we missed. Um, a lot of funny, kind of like drama that just kind of came in and then like, obviously Kim the very first day was a cute photo of Rain and he was like playing with some boxes and he was like next to like this big Christmas tree oh but, no it's or Saint or not Rain mm. Saint um, but look how cute Saint Aww. is Aww. you know it's it's crazy because I feel like we don't see a lot of Saint we really don't we don't we don't I really don't know what he looks like. I know. it's In this photo, it's kind of funny. It's like so zoomed back. It's like, why is the Christmas tree way over there? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Cute, but though. He's so Aww. cute. And I'm sure that this is just like a random shot. Like, I doubt that this is going to be the Christmas card. Obviously, there's just too much space involved. Um, but the next photo we have is of North looking up at, I'm assuming, Kim. And it looks like maybe either Kendall or Courtney is standing beside. Everyone loved this photo, though. And they were talking about how... She looked like she had like mermaid hair. It was like just so long and beautiful, and North mm. just looks adorable. North looks a lot like Kanye. You think? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think so. I think she's yeah. starting to look a lot like Kim. Really? Yeah. I think. She, I mean, I, she has. She's gonna be really good looking. Let me tell you. She is. I yeah. love mixed babies. I think they come out the they're best. So honestly. Cute. Yeah. She's adorable. And do you guys think that they're probably all wearing Good American in this shoot? No. Yes, I think for so. Chloe, absolutely. Yeah. I don't yeah. think so. You don't think so? Why no. not? I don't think they would wear good American. They look like just regular jeans. I think they're good American. You think so? I think so. I think, of course. They look I like why they? Yeah. Um, uh. But let's talk about Kim's pants, though. I feel like she has a big stain on it. Like, she's always coming. Oh, why did they not Photoshop that? You are so right. <laughs> but she's always coming, like, you know, photo ready. She's so excited. Maybe it's, like, a part of the look, but, like, 
It looks like her Coffee dog. Stain. Or, or yeah. yeah, like played in the mud and like sushi. Put little, sushi poop. <laughs> sushi stain. <laughs> <laughs> sushi stain. Which we'll talk about sushi a little bit later. But we love this photo, and I'm really excited to see the big reveal of mm -hmm. um, the Christmas card. The one that came out today, yeah. which I don't have, um, was I think Rain. And yeah. He was like very cute, like looking. Aww. Yeah. And just their kids are adorable. It's insane. Yeah. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about, though, is Stephanie Shepard might have a potentially thrown a diss at Kim. Um, on her Instagram story, she posted this saying, self-care isn't always lush bath bombs and $20 face masks. Sometimes it's going to bed at 8 p.m. or letting go of a bad friend. It's forgiving yourself for not meeting your impossible standards and understanding you are worth it. Self-care isn't always luxury, but a mean for survival. I actually, mm -hmm. whether she's dissing Kim or not, I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you send me that, Dakota? Yeah, I'll send it to oh you. I still got the screenshot. Love that. I love that too, but um, what do you guys think? I mean, obviously, she is allowed, she has like tons of other friends, I'm sure. So, like, the fact that this may be about Kim is purely speculation. Why do you think it's about Kim? Um, a lot of people are saying, because you were telling me that it was almost like she had possibly gotten fired rather than yeah. quit. Yeah. So, we thought that she got fired, or we thought that she quit, but it came out that she actually got fired. Wow. So this just seems like a total. I don't like that. I don't like when things like that happen. It's like they're trying to shove information, like, you mm -hmm. know, to the audience. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I have to agree with Shanti over here. I feel the same way about guns. Like, yeah. just don't like them. But if I am, you know, Kendall Jenner and I'm seeing a stalker almost every other night, maybe I should think about at least getting a taser or something. Pepper spray. That Pepper. works. Uh, but if no. the man comes through the front door, I'm not going to spray you because you're not going to reach it. Like, maybe I should get and the a, gun. And a taser, too. I mean, like, if you have one of those handheld things, you're oh, going to yeah. have to go up to them, you know? That's true. I'm sorry. <laughs> or a taser gun well, where it shoots out. I don't know anything about out. tasers. You'd have to, well, you'd, yeah, you could get the one that shoots yeah. out, but... I think I would get so a gun. Wow. You know a lot, Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> Which I kind mean, of taser should we buy? This yeah. is all things like in Missouri, it's very, you know, in Missouri is like for where I'm from is very like pro gun, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, are you I've pro seen, gun? I mean, personally, I wouldn't have guns. You know, growing up, all of my family and extended family, they all had guns in their house. And my, my uncle is like somewhat of a semi famous hunter and stuff like that, like endorsed by Bass Pro and like places like that. So like I've grown up around that. Personally, for me though, it's not my thing, and it's not something I would want to keep in my house. Mm -hmm. um, so Especially with children. It's not my thing, but I don't judge yeah. my family for having it because you know, I don't. I just I don't know. It's like all of them are very responsible. They've gone through like the classes, and they've they've done it to like protect themselves if anyone. Because like we live kind of like in a secluded area where we have like five acres of land to ourselves. Mm -hmm. So it's not mm -hmm. like we're you know in the city like around a bunch of people. Like someone would literally have to like come into the woods to like you know yeah. get us so it's like in that case like i understand why they would want to personally for me it's not my thing and that's not something that i endorse or stand by but i wouldn't mind doing the classes though i would like to be prepared if a gun were to come my way mm -hmm. that i would know how to load it True. and you know take it off and things like that i wouldn't have it in my house but i definitely like to be prepared mm -hmm. yeah Definitely good for sure. it, yeah. it was kind of interesting to see how they were asking Kim, okay, what would have happened if those men would have accidentally dropped the gun? Would you have been able to grab it? Mm -hmm. I'm like, those are intense questions to be asking Kim because you know that terrified her and she doesn't want to talk true. about it. But whenever they were asking that, I was like interested. I was like, yeah, Kim, like, what would you do? Would you grab the gun or would mm -hmm. you just let it sit there and be like, oh, you dropped your gun? You know, <laughs> Absolutely, grab it. Grab I think it. anybody would grab but it. But then if she tries to grab it, I could see one of them. Oh, maybe. Yeah, and she also said there was a bunch of men. She, well, first she said three against one, and then she said six. I don't know how many men were actually there when she was robbed, but it's like when you have that many people ganging up on you, that's... You shouldn't be going out alone at all. Mm -hmm. But I'm, mean, like, I'm talking about, like, in the specific Paris robbery, like, if someone dropped a gun, yeah. like, there's right. six dudes around you, like... It's probably best to just do what they say. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's like, it's, if it was one person, you could grab it, you know? But, like, if it's a bunch of people, by the time you're trying to grab it, they could be like, oh, no, she's going to shoot. shoot and then, so, yeah. So, but guns, it is a very sensitive topic, and it's it's one of those things where even just think, look at us go. Um, <laughs> but we had so much fun. Thank you guys for joining us. Let us know in the comments below what you want to see more of and your new segments. Um, but actually, before we go, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> before we go, we have a Kardashian Beauty Breakdown. Surprise! 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 Um, but Shanti... Sent in like a clip of her doing the lip kit that she just got. And what was the name of the lip kit? Uh, Dolce K, which I'm wearing right now. Oh, you're oh. rocking it, girl. I like it. I need a, a tutorial. You guys, this is in my room. This is no Ginwa tutorial. Please don't <laughs> judge me for it, okay? Uh, no, I did what I could. Uh, 
All right, you guys, I know I am so late to the game, but I finally got my first Kylie lip kit. Um, I got it in Dolce K. I don't even think it's one of the new colors, but I finally got to try it out. Overall, I, I love it. I love how it goes on. Um, it's super matte and long lasting. Um, I wore it to work on Tuesday, I want to say, and I put it on at 6.30 a.m. and I didn't take it off until 7.45 p.m. at night. I had worked all day, then I went to the gym for an hour, and it was still on my lips at the end of the day. Now, what I like about this uh, lipstick in particular is it doesn't dry out your lips. It keeps them moisturized throughout the day, um, which is pretty rare for a long-lasting matte lipstick. I'm definitely into it. Uh, I really want to go buy more colors at her pop-up shop that's coming to LA, and I definitely recommend it. Check out my tutorial on how I put it on. It's pretty simple, but if you guys want to know my tricks, watch. So anytime I apply lipstick, I usually put a light layer of foundation on my lips beforehand. And this just makes the lipstick pop more, the colors better. Um, I always feel like it looks better when I do that beforehand. So I'm going to take the Kylie Lip Kit uh, Lip Liner in Dolce K and I'm going to apply it all around my lips. And my trick with lip liner is if you want to outline your lips a little bit, um, on the lower lip near the middle you can kind of bring a little bit lower than your natural lip line. Um, and then same with the top, just a little bit above the natural lip line. You don't want to look crazy. Uh, you don't want you, you don't want to look too fake, but to achieve just a little bit bigger, you can do that. All right, so final step, take the actual lipstick and apply it all over your lips. Um, I like to do a nice, generous amount because you are wanting to stay all day long. Um, when I wore it the other day, I did not reapply one time. It was great that it lasted that long. So try to do a good amount so it lasts. And voila, you guys are ready to go. Um, I really like this color on brunettes and I think it really makes your hair pop. And I also So the main storyline here is that Kim and Courtney both got P and North dogs. Mm -hmm. Cute little dogs. I don't even know what kind of breed that is. Pomeranian. Oh, I want a Pomeranian. Um, so cute. Yeah, but Kim's cute. and North's is named Sushi and it barks a lot. Yeah. That was too much because I was like, oh, I hope that in the future episodes they put that dog in a garage or something because, man, <laughs> it was like... Bah! Yeah. Well, at least okay. to be trained, yeah. It was kind of cool to see Caesar Milan coming in, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's cool. Just have him on speed dial, like Caesar. Can you come over and train my dog? Oh, yeah, I'm coming. And, I, and the way that? that he like talked to her a little bit, he's like, no, this is bad. No, don't do that, Kim. You're not doing this good. I was like, <gasps> he talked to Kim like that. I was like, oh, shoot. Most mm -hmm. people would be afraid, but he's like, you're not doing this right. You're going to. No, well, he's got to tell her. Yeah, he's exactly. a professional. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. I know. I would have mm -hmm. just been like, you're doing great, Kim. Give the dog that slipper. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I would have been yeah. like, but what did you guys think? Did you think that it was hilarious when the, when she, like, switched the dogs with Courtney so that way she could have a, a quiet dog? Yeah, I thought it was pretty funny. I was like, I'd probably do something like that with my sister. I'm like, oh, okay, got to go. Let me just take my dog real quick. Because that dog, dog was annoying. Yeah. Cute. So annoying. annoying. And we only saw like two seconds of it. Can you imagine living oh, with oh it? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I really think the morning. dog was just there for filming, and then they gave it away. You think so? Like, no. <laughs> I, I don't think so. I wouldn't be I surprised. Don't. No, seriously. Dang. I don't think anybody has time to hear a dog bark all night long. Mm -mm. There's no way. No. Can't they just pay someone to train it? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he came up with. But he was there for like two seconds. She's like, he's gonna help us, and she or she's like, he's gonna help us, and he was like, yeah, I'll, I'll teach you a few basic things. Basically, like I don't got time for this. For this, I know, right? <laughs> I was like, girl, you better have time for Kim Kardashian, <laughs> because like she she's not just gonna be able to learn it all in like five minutes. She's gonna have to have someone come over repeatedly. Mm -hmm. How do you guys feel about Kim's biker shorts look? <laughs> I hate it. What is that? It's part of the Yeezy. Season I six. Exactly. I actually liked it. But, like, if I, like, it, I it's so hard to pull those off. Because they're ugly. I would not pull them. No, I would not <laughs> pull them imagine? off at all. Yeah, no, I think, it, but with her body, I thought it looked so good. I but know. But she, she kind of gave me surfer vibes for some reason. Are we talking about surfer the long vibes. pants or like the short I'm pants? talking about the short ones. Which ones are you guys talking yeah. about? Oh, yeah, the short ones. They look like biker shorts. I thought they were cool. She wears them out all over. Like, I think they're cute, like under shorts. Like I would put what? Sweats, like over it if I want to do a baggy look. I think it's cute to wear at home. 
Yeah, oh, definitely at home. Well, yeah. she, she still <laughs> looks great, is my point, which is crazy. She wears them out. Anyone that she can wears wear. Them out a lot yeah. These days. Yeah. 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 Different colors, nude colored, like yep. green color. Oh, I'm like, girl, been... if you don't let these biker shorts go, <laughs> <laughs> Lord. Yeah. I just look so ridiculous in those, but somehow she, she pulls can it off. Pulls, she can pull it off. She doesn't, she doesn't pull it off. Yeah, well, by December 10th, gonna, yeah. but they pushed it a month back. I don't know. I kind of like that they did that because if they are going to have to take like, because you know during Christmas time, some shows do take like an episode or two break. That's so true. to start up the show and get us all excited and then have to wait a couple weeks and then people, you know, after they've had their big Christmas meals and like they've finally <laughs> flown back to home or wherever they're going and they're like, oh wait, yeah, I forgot about this show. It's, it's on. So I think it's kind of smart how she did that. They've just been playing that damn commercial a lot on the channel. Did you guys? Chloe's? Yeah. Like, yeah. I just, your life has been in pause, and I just want to hit the play button. <laughs> like, I don't know how many times I've heard that. Have you guys Have you guys seen the, the past season? Yeah. It's so good. Though. Most, I, I saw, like, almost every episode. So good. I like the one where, like, the girl was bitchy, and she didn't want to... She didn't want to eat right or work out, so then they dropped her. Yes. <laughs> that was a juicy one. That's yeah. going to be me, Chloe, <laughs> if you put me on. I can't do it. No, oh. I can't be a vegan. Uh-uh. I need to have a nice balance. It's not that you would be a vegan. I think you would actually do very well because I feel like you would listen to Chloe because you're like, yes, Mama Chloe. I do love Whatever Chloe. Whatever you want. But I feel like, girl, if you don't pass me this fried chicken right now, <laughs> I'm walking. <laughs> Can we not talk about food? Your girl's super hungry right now. I'm hungry, too. <laughs> Um, and then the lastly, we have that Kylie has recently trademarked the Kylie truck, or oh. she's put in a request to trademark. So, uh, what yeah. does that Kylie truck? Have on her makeup? Yeah, so. Similar to Benefits. Benefits Cosmetics have that in like the airports. Oh. Really? Yeah. Cute. Instead of a food truck going around, a Kylie truck might be, be seen. And they might, from what I've heard, they might like announce, okay, like today and tomorrow only, it's going to be at Santa Monica Pier. And like, oh, the next day it's going to be, there's one That's in New York. Really the next smart. day, oh, you know what? There's going to be one in Burbank. Like, they're just going to like show up randomly at different places. That's pretty cool. And yeah. Like, That's really pop up. That's so a really good idea. Photo. And maybe like instead of, like, obviously they could use this very well as like one of those things where, okay, well, we don't have like the resources or like the demographic to put in a whole Kylie shop in Nebraska or Missouri, but maybe yeah. like one or two days that thing yeah. drives through world tour, having a great time. You know, Kylie's That's cool. cool. Really yeah. is. Oh, so I'm I excited. That. I like that. I and like that um, you know, Kylie will be there waving you on, being like, "Hey guys, I'm in the truck driving. <laughs> Come on over." Wait, so it, does it actually drive across country? We don't know much about it, but we're just oh, speculating. You're just, just, you're just giving um, them great ideas right but, now. Yeah, but they she has put in to patent it, and she's patenting the Kylie or Kylie truck, and then Kylie Jenner truck. Oh, okay. Nice. So she has options to use either one. I personally like Kylie truck better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kylie Jenner is too long. Yeah. But I, what do you guys think? That'd be cool, right? I think I that's would. a great, they have great one in idea. Every state. Mm -hmm. She is cute. rolling in the dough. Rolling. Okay. Rolling. On the bus with the truck. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> moving on. Let's briefly talk about a very Kardashian holiday. It was the episode that aired last week mm -hmm. that we missed. Um, 